decided to go through the process of EPDs because we wanted to measure the environmental impact of our products. By having those EPDs, we will be able to identify which part of the product is more emitting and this will help us to improve our process and improve our supply also of material in order to reduce the overall carbon footprint of the end product. It is also important to have EPD in what we call EPD databases that are used for the life cycle assessment of buildings or infrastructures. And finally, our clients are requesting them more and more. We know that soon it will become mandatory, so we need to be ready for that. The EPD process consists of three steps. Life cycle inventory, life cycle assessment, and finally audit and EPD. For the life cycle inventory, we collect all the information for the production, steel, weight, kilometers, water consumption, electricity, everything. We share it in a transparent manner with the interim firm which is in charge of the life cycle assessment. There they convert or they translate all our engineering data into tons of CO2, acidification of water, the usual figures that will go into the EPD. The finally EPD is audited by a third party, which is the accredited firm within the EnvironDeck label, which will then issue and publish into the database for consultation of owners, designers, whatever. When uh, we start to think in EPDs and how to do it, our first challenge was where and how to collect the data. We also had to retro-engineer the exact manufacturing process of each product with all the material quantities in detail. We had never been so far in the granulometry of our material consumptions before, so we had to adapt our accounting processes. This was our second challenge. There are some data easy to collect as a steel. Of course, it's of uh, main raw material and it's easy to know exactly the quantity, the tonnage of raw material we need. But for this study, we need to know every kilo of this steel, where it comes from. And such data are not as easy to collect. For example, how much electricity we need to produce an anchor head, a GC anchorage. Quantities of oil, that we need for each step of our process. We need to change our method to follow in a long term and establish an EPDs method. EPDs for our products help us to improve and reduce the carbon footprint of our products, but it is also key to reference VSL in the low carbon product shop windows that are the emission product databases. We want the clients and the designers to be able to find all our products in the EPD databases.